This is a video tutorial for creating reproducible examples using R and the Reprex package. We'll use reproducible examples as a means for getting help, asking questions, and providing examples this semester. To begin with, we'll explore some sample data from the dplyr package. I'll assign the Star Wars data to a data frame named Star Wars in Camel Case. We can click on the data frame in the Global Environment tab to explore what the data look like. These are characters from the Star Wars universe. There are a number of numeric and character variables we can use for examples. Remember that you can quickly preview those variables by clicking on the blue icon next to the data frame in the Global Environment tag. One word of caution, don't use the Films list for examples. To use these data in a reprex, we need to open a new R script. We'll load the dplyr package again at the top of the script. This is important. We need to include all the packages needed for the example, even if they've been explicitly opened elsewhere. We'll also create a scenario here where we've encountered an error while subsetting some data. Remember that we always use the built-in data for our reprex and not any data we've already loaded into our global environment. We'll filter the data by planet. We want to select rows where the character was born on Tatooine. We'll also select a number of columns to retain but one of the column names is misspelled, which is triggering an error in our assignment notebook. This will illustrate how reprexes with error messages are produced. Now that we've written our sample code, which illustrates our problem, we'll highlight the code and go to Edit and select Copy. With a copy to our clipboard, we can load the reprex package down in our console and then execute the reprex function. We'll get a preview of the output in the Viewer tab and we can see both the code and the output knit together. At this point, we can head over to Slack and paste the output into a message. You do not need to copy and paste from the Viewer tab. It is automatically added to your clipboard. We can delete the creation output, that last line that gets pasted into Slack, and delete the R from the top of the code block. When we hit Return, we get our formatted final product. In our second example, we'll use the MPG data from ggplot2. We can assign the MPG data to an object to temporarily explore it. Like the previous example, there's a number of numeric and character variables we can draw from. I often use the city and highway variables, city and highway fuel efficiency, but there are others you can use as well. With a variable selected to illustrate our concern, we can open a script. I'll add a library function to load ggplot2 in our reproducible example, and then build a histogram using the ggplot function followed by the histogram geom. I'll use the original MPG data and not the data loaded in my global environment, and then I'll use the highway fuel efficiency variable for the plots. Once again, I copy the code to the clipboard by highlighting all of it and going to edit and then copy. We'll load the reprex package again since this is a new R session, and then execute the reprex function. When the reprex function is done, both the code and the plot are visible in our viewer tab to the right. Once again, we can bump over to Slack and paste our output in. We'll delete the creation output as well as the R out of the first line. Finally, we want to adjust the imgur.com link to remove the exclamation point, brackets, and open parenthesis before the beginning of the URL. At the end of the URL, we'll also remove that closing parenthesis. When we hit enter, the plot will be displayed down below the reprex that created it. Finally, I want to illustrate using data from a second package to produce a reprex. If we want to illustrate maps produced with simple features objects, we can use one of the simple features objects contained in the STL data package. We can preview one of these by loading the STL data package and assigning the city boundary data to an object in our global environment. You can see that it is a simple feature by scrolling down in the preview to the geometry list. We'll open an R script once again and add both the ggplot2 and STL data packages. We'll then create a plot using the ggplot function. In the geomsf geom, we'll be careful to specify the data argument, and we'll use the original STL boundary simple feature 
from the package. Finally, we'll specify a color hex value for both the color and fill arguments. When we're ready, we highlight the text and go to Edit and then Copy. As we did before, we'll load the Reprex package in the console, since this is a new session, and then execute the Reprex function. The map then renders in our viewer along with the code used to create it.